Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, I hope everybody has used this library which is called as Scikit Learn. Okay, and you may have used this libraries to train your machine learning models. Let it be a classification task, regression task, clustering task, dimensional entity reduction task, or any kind of pre-processing, right? And by default, whenever you are using Scikit Learn, most of you will execute the code in the CPU, right? So one of the major problem is that when you have millions of records, when you really want to perform hyperparameter tuning, it usually takes a lot amount of time. Now in the recent uh, NVIDIA GTC 2025 event, uh, NVIDIA now has brought these amazing changes in QML, wherein it brings zero code changes to bring acceleration to Skykit Learn, right? So it is just like we are trying to harness, okay? And what is this specific acceleration if you really want to understand? You should definitely read this specific point, okay? NVIDIA QML now enables you to continue using familiar Scikit Learn APIs and Python libraries while enabling the data scientists and machine learning engineers to harness the power of CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs without changing any application code. Now, with the help of this QML, <clears throat> you can now run all your Scikit Learn code by harnessing the power of CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs. So you are trying to run everything in the NVIDIA GPUs and because of the GPUs, now the entire training process becomes very much faster, right? Isn't it an amazing announcement? So in this specific video, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about like how you can probably go ahead and run all that kind of code with the help of CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs uh, with a very good practical example, which you can also try. And along with that, we'll also try to see some of the performance. So an amazing announcement. I think you should definitely watch this video till the end. And for everyone who has probably started learning machine learning, who really wants to train the machine learning models, trust me, this is the best way to probably go ahead and implement or train them in the GPU itself. Okay. So uh, along with this, you can probably go ahead and run, uh, learn some more information over here related to this. Okay. So the new version of QML also accelerates UMAP and HD, HD, uh, HDBS scan, that is basically clustering algorithm, leading algorithm for dimensional reduction and clustering up to 60x and 170x on NVIDIA GPUs versus CPU with zero code changes. And the best part is you don't have to probably do any kind of code changes, okay? Uh, to start with here is a basic kind of flow, uh, uh, flow diagram that you'll be able to see. You just need to go ahead and load this QML.SL, okay? Uh, and once you do this, uh, you should be able to harness the power of GPUs and run the Skykit Learn code directly on them, okay? So you can just go ahead and check this out, how the flow is basically going on. But my main aim is just to show you with an example, uh, we'll try to implement a code over here. Along with this, here you'll be also able to see 50 times faster Skykit Learn, QML plus GPU versus CPU, okay? So here you can see 26 times faster with respect to random forest classifier, 52x times faster. Similarly, 170x times faster for UMAP and HDBS scan, which is just a clustering algorithm, right? If I probably consider um UMAP, it is dimensional reduction. So here you can see 60 times more faster it is when compared to the CPU, right? So let me just go ahead and show you one very good example over here. So here I have this T4 uh, GPU, okay? And let's first of all go ahead and implement this. So this is basically a simple classification algorithm. And uh, you'll be seeing that how many records we are specifically going to take, okay? So let's quickly go ahead. First of all, I'll go ahead and execute this NVIDIA SMI and shows that, hey, which GPU you basically have. It is nothing but Tesla T4, okay? And with respect to this, I have some kind of RAM around 15 to 16 GB, okay? Then <clears throat> let's load a data set and see how we can use Skykit Learn to classify the data. For this example, we'll be using the coverage type data set, okay? So in this particular data set, we will again be using, see, this is really important here. I'm just going to import pandas, numpy, sklearn.ensemble, random forest classifier, sklearn model selection for train test split and classification report and accuracy score. So this is what we are basically going to use right now. Now, <clears throat> this is where, where my data set is present, we'll first of all unzip it, okay? Uh, so here you can see I'm given the URL and we are reading that particular CSV from the URL. And these are the columns. So you can see so many different columns are basically there in our data set, okay? So let me just go ahead and show you and probably execute this particular code. It's a huge data set. You'll be able to see the number of records that are there. It's somewhere around 5,81,000 records with 55 uh, columns, right? So now here you can see data.shape. I will also go ahead and show you data.head if possible, okay? 
So here is my data dot head. So here you'll be having elevation aspect, all these kind of values in our data set. Okay. Now we'll separate our classification variable from the rest of the data. So cover type is basically our output feature. So we will just go ahead and do this. So, and this is very simple. We have to just do a train test split and all. Okay. Now that we have our data set split, we are ready to run our model. To start with, we'll just run the model using SkyKit libra uh, library with starting a max depth of five and all of the features. Now that we can set uh, n underscore jobs is equal to one to utilize all the CPU code. So initially we are running this in our CPU. Okay. <clears throat> and here you'll be able to see that I've just taken n underscore estimate as max depth is equal to five. Let's do it with max depth is equal to five. I think it will take some amount of time because after this, you know, I will try to load, uh, load the uh, changes that uh, nvidia qml has actually brought and then you'll be able to see how good the performance is okay so i have now made it as max underscore depth is equal to five so let's let the training basically happen again okay and then once the training basically happens uh, we will go ahead with the next step so here uh, in the next code you'll be able to see that we are doing the prediction then we are finding the accuracy score then we are printing the classification report now here you'll be able to see now let's load qml.xl and try running the same code again and then we'll try to see whether the performance improves or not okay so yes uh, let's let uh, okay this is perfect now here you will be able to see the wall time is 41.5 seconds total time 4 minute 55 seconds all the specific stuffs you are getting so guys uh, so the overall time over here is somewhere around 41.5 seconds that basically means my model is basically getting trained within 41.5 seconds using the cpu instance itself uh, but here in the description you can see that we have written in about two minutes we are able to fit our tree model using skygate learn um, the reason is very simple because we, I'm specifically using the high RAM, T4 high RAM instance. If you just use the T4 free tire, then it is just going to take you somewhere around for, for two minutes to complete this entire training process. Okay. Now we are going to do the prediction with respect to the accuracy score. Um, we are getting somewhere around 70%. The classification report here, you'll be able to see this. Okay. Now it's time. <clears throat> we will try to run the same code. With the help of SkyKit Learn, we'll accelerate that SkyKit Learn directly into the NVIDIA GPUs. Okay, uh, so let's load this QML.xl. Okay, so load extension QML.xl. This is def definitely for bringing that QML changes uh, that NVIDIA has actually brought to accelerate the SkyKit Learn. Okay, so here installed accelerator for SKLearn. Here you can see this. And then uh, we will do the same steps what we specifically did. Okay, and then we will try to fit it for the same max underscore depth okay so this will take some time because uh, this will happen only for the first time okay and after that you'll be able to see how fast we will be able to do it and just by seeing the time difference you'll be very very happy because we will be having all this specific stuff so here you can see already accelerator for skykit learn has been uh, uh, installed then umap then htbs scan everything has been uh, uh, in installed right now i'll just go ahead and enable this oh, sorry uh, import this then we will go ahead and do the same thing. See, a random forest classify and underscore estimator is equal to 100, max depth, all this stuff. And then we will do fit on X train and Y train. So once we do this, you will be able to see that how fast things will happen. So here you can see 4.89 seconds. Before, here you could see how many seconds? 41.5 seconds, right? Wall time. This is the difference. And because of this, you can just see that now your entire acceleration of SkyKit Learn with respect to the training is directly happening in the GPU. And GPU def definitely has more cores than compared to the CPU, right? So here, now we can just go ahead and see this. This is what is my predictions, okay? Uh, similarly, you can go ahead and do fit on max depth is equal to 30. Now we'll do a fit on max depth is equal to 30, right? And then we'll see that how much time difference it will happen, right? Because max depth 30, obviously it will take a lot of time in CPUs at least, okay? But with respect to GPUs, we'll try to see. Before, with max depth is equal to 5, we have just got 4.89 seconds. So here, only 16.9 seconds. Isn't it amazing, right? Because the entire acceleration is now currently happening and the SkyGate Learn acceleration, the training is basically happening in the GPUs. So 16.9 seconds here it is, right? Now with respect to the prediction, now see, all are coming somewhere around 90, 95% and all. Now this is what happens, right? Before, when we are using SkyGrid Learn uh, and we are trying to train in the CPU, just to do this max depth is equal to 30, it will definitely take a lot of amount of time, right? And uh, that is the reason we will not even be able to probably improve the accuracy, yes? 
So I hope uh, you are uh, able to understand and uh, what amazing changes specifically NVIDIA has actually brought up with, right? So just go ahead and <clears throat> try out this NVIDIA QML library and see that how you can probably run SkyKit Learn in the GPUs itself, and how you can harness the power of CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs and then definitely do compare it with the CPU and all, right? All the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. So yes, this was it from my side. I hope you like this particular video. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one all. Take care. Bye-bye.